what's up guys it's Manish here from techtech.com and today I'll be showing you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S2 now before we start I just want to get through that I am not responsible for breaking your device therefore you are rooting your device and knowing the risk and if you want to know why would you want to root your device for me it's simple for custom ROMs but other reasons can be found at techtech.com there should be a link and um, you will actually void your warranty by rooting your device but there is actually a way to unroot your device so you won't be actually um, well you can reverse avoiding your warranty and last not but the least uh, must back up your device it's very important just in case something happens that okay now to get started i want you guys to head over to tech.com and download um, all in one files so from you can download from our server or Forshed, whichever you like if you feel like you want to download one by one you can go ahead so click on our server and you start downloading but I have already downloaded the files which is right here um, to extract here just right click extract here and what you're probably wondering what is this book thingy right here it's actually a WinZip uh, program that zips the folder quick to actually get that, go to Google and then write in WinRAR and WinRAR and uh, RAWLab.com click on downloads and look for English and depending on your machine type for me I will define that it's going to start right click properties this will only work for Windows 7 Windows Vista and system type 64 bit operating system so that's 64 bit for me so click on that, keep, open it up, yes, install, and there you have, click OK. Once you've done that, this should automatically turn into books, um, I'll do it in case, just to show it, right click, extract here. Right, you should have a full local root S2 tic tac. And the first thing is uh, you click on step one and install KS. It's very simple. Uh, click yes. Because it takes around five minutes just to install, I have already installed it. You can see it's right here. Uh, the reason you install KS is just for the drivers so your phone can be recognized on your computer. And other than that, make sure you don't have KS um, opened when you're trying to root your phone. Yes, I'll pick the then we want to download kernels. I already downloaded some kernels here, well, for my phone. Um, so we do go to your browser, then head over to this web I mean, link. I'll probably post it somewhere up there. And what you have to do is um, go to your phone, go to settings, then about phone. And at the end, it should say current version. What you look for is actually after one i9 and 100. So after that code, there should be another code that says XWKI4. Now to find that, you just go to this forum and Control F and type in your code. For me, it's XWKI4. As you can, uh, as you can see, it's not recognized. So what you do is just go to the older versions, and you should be typed to hot files. So now Control F and look for it there you go you can download both of them so click on insecure for one first and regular download with 15 seconds as you can see the countdown is done all you do is just type in the letters if i can see them so this one is good enough click download file and then click here to download file Download it, as again, I've already done it. So, that should be covered. If you can't find the kernel, what you have to do is use the kernels I provided and also uh, keep note of your kernel version because it's very important to actually, um, uh, if you want to actually send it to a pair and get your version back, so it's actually important. Nevertheless, the next thing you do is go to step two and open ODN and right click run as administrator and click yes. And leave that open, go back to your phone and turn it off. Oh, one more thing is um, go back to settings, go to applications, then development, and use 
debug me. I say yes. Once that's done, um, restart your phone. You'll notice turned up when it vibrates and the lights go off. Once that's done, press or hold it down, home, and the power button. This will take you to the download mode, which is right there, and then press up. This is the downloading mode. Don't worry, it's actually not downloading anything. Now what you do is get a USB cable and connect it to your phone. And you should see a yellow box color here. Mine says COM7, don't worry if it's some other number, maybe really it doesn't matter. Now, other thing is uh, make sure you have auto reboot and reset time clicked and repartition and other things not clicked or ticked. Now, um, tap on PDA, then go to kernels. Oh, one more thing. When you go, when you're at kernels, uh, extract them, and the password is um, which, which is there. password. It's O D I A at X D A. And do the same for the other one. This one does not pass it. Okay, if you, if you actually do it again, so PDA and look at the files, kernels, and there you go, you got both of them. Um, click on Enskill and start. Sometimes you actually get stuck on this thing. If you do, on um, the red yellow triangle, if you do, let me know. I'll probably help you guys out because I have been stuck there once. Now back to the screen, once your phone turned on, go to our file, then go to step 3, open it as 2 root, and uh, ok, because we've already done that. Ok, what you want to do is, Go to uh, the right hand side of it and go to download mode and reboot to download when finished and click reboot device. Now we want to actually flash backward mode recovery. To do that, um, open up Odeon. Right click on the administrator, yes. And the yellow box will be ticked. And then PDA again. And clockwork mode recovery, open that up and click start. Now the reason I, I haven't tried to take clockwork mode recovery, it does mess it up, therefore I just leave the yellow triangle, it doesn't really annoy me. If you want to get a, a, get rid of it, all you have to do is just click on PDA, put into recovery mode your phone into, and then flash the original kernel. And that's about it. There are actually two ways to um, 
enter recovery mode. So first way is um, go to S2 root. And then where it says reboot options, tap, uh, click on reboot to recovery and execute. And hopefully it's uh, enter recovery. And there it does. Another way to reboot into recovery is actually tapping the up, home, and power on. So let's reboot system now. So up, home, and power on. There you have it. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and I'm out.